don't wanna sound full of myself a rule, but you ain't looking at no other dudes, cause you love me. I'm sorry, baby. So you think about a chance, you find yourself trying to do my dance, maybe cause you love me. So can we try? So I just got to keep them. Sorry I haven't been vlogging that much. Just I'm just really tired. So I'm going to baggage claim to immigration. And I'm gonna go meet Julia. I look a hot mess right now, y'all. It's just gonna have to excuse me. Here's the airport. I'm in Ecuador. mom's house chilling with Julia hey. <laughs> um here's do you mind if I just show the view all right here's the view from here it's beautiful where are we in Tumbaco still Tumbaco. we're still in Tumbaco here's their doggy what's his name sensei, sensei. <laughs> he does look like a sensei with the, yeah, with the whiskers <laughs> so yeah we're just chilling <laughs> we're about to have tacos with the familia and then later on what are we doing we're going Party. We're going to party. To a place called Bungalow. To a place called Bungalow. So um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to film there, guys, because I don't. I, yeah, I don't think I will. But take the camera. yeah, I'm not gonna take the camera. But if I like, I'll probably get some pictures or something. So I'll catch you guys later. Um, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on what I was doing. It's beautiful here in Ecuador, and I'll film more as I go along. All right, catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking around Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Um, we're going to meet up with Julia's friend, uh, friend Geronimo Isapo. Um, <laughs> are, we're going to get lunch, right? We're gonna get like coffee and, and dessert. Ooh, probably. I'm excited. Hello. 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 So yeah, I'm gonna try and show as much as I can. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice place. It really reminds me of Ghana. So for all my Ghanaian viewers, does this not look like back home? No? I feel like I'm picking up a Canadian accent. What? I don't know. I don't know why. Because, I don't know, I talk to my friend Chelsea a lot. Mm -hmm. And she has her Canadian accent. And I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to like... grew up in Canada or what? Uh, no, she also like lived in Ghana then moved to Canada, but like she has like a accent and I think I'm picking up some things from her. I don't know. Do I sound Canadian guys? Let me know in the <laughs> comments down below. <laughs> Nicolas's birthday. He's 21. Legal life. Hey, where's your alcohol? You're 21. <laughs> later, no. later, tonight. later tonight. There's a fiesta. A fiesta yeah. <laughs> so we're just chilling here. This is Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Wait, let me let me like, get a better view. <laughs> it's very very beautiful, as you guys can see. I'm gonna zoom into the mountains. Las Montañas. <laughs> So pretty. <laughs> He's super excited. I'm Everyone's super excited. excited. <laughs> this is the closest thing to being famous I've ever <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. 
Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday, Shampuito! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Para, 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 para. <laughs> Cumpleaños, 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 Tascar is like bite, yeah. like a, a quichua like word for bite, but made in Spanish, in Spanish. Like quichua. Tascar <laughs> 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 no es quichua. Tascar no es quichua. So it's like tascar bite el que, and que is like the Ecuadorian way of saying cake. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So you say tascar el que, and he has to bite, bite the, the cake, cake, but everyone pushes, pushes his face. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, come on. Ese frosting estaba ahí. Good afternoon, it's the day after. And we are on our way to Ser La Floresta. La Floresta. La Floresta. La Floresta. Um, it's like a really It's like Quito's Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I'm excited to go, and we're currently like I'm gonna show you guys a view. It's so pretty. Um, like we're in the mountainside. We're going up the mountain. We're going up the mountain. Oh, I didn't film. Like I had. To, I should have taken out my camera earlier, because like. Mm. But the view is beautiful, guys. And what baffles me is just. If you can see like how high the mountains are and stuff and you see all like these houses on it It's like amazing to think of how people constructed it, you know, like to bring the equipment up there to build it And they're like really elaborate places too. So it's people are smart, man. Yeah We're going just like up up this way. Mm -hmm. It's like a barrio that's called Guapulo. Guapulo. That in fact the church of Guapulo it's a really really old church mm -hmm. and like the, the and when like downtown Quito was like the original settlement of Quito was yeah. the only part of the city mm -hmm. like the monks and, uh, and the nuns right. when they needed to escape like from from the uh, cities like yeah Uh, I don't know how to say it, but like the city's influence yeah. came here and they came like in horses or walking yeah. It was like in, in theory. It's like five kilometers mm -hmm. but at the time that was a like lot, a lot, a lot. Right? Yeah So we are in Floresta now. We're walking around. La Floresta. Floresta. We touched a little like ice. I knew I wasn't there and I was gonna tear your ass up. Tear your ass up. I know that I'm carrying on. Never mind if I'm showing sure off. At uh, La Floresta, we have this place called La Platea, that it's like a food truck place. Ooh. You guys can see all the food trucks? Hi 
Hi guys, so we are currently at Julia's grandpa's house and she's giving me a tour of her house. Um, he, her grandpa lives on a farm, so we're gonna be on a farm, touching the farm animals. And, um, <laughs> and Julia's actually gonna give you guys a tour and be the tour guide. Okay. Okay, so this is a house from the colonial period, so it's mm -hmm. like really typical. Mm -hmm. And they usually have like three living rooms or like dining halls, so it's like, this is the, the casual dining place. Mm -hmm. so we usually have lunch here. Mm -hmm. And if you, and you out, before this was like literally opened, mm -hmm. like it was like a terrace, oh. but there's a river down there and the river like was eating up the land and it oh. was falling down. So they had to, they had to close, close it up. It up. Yeah. So, let's go to the main patio. Houses here usually have like an interior patio. Right. Okay. With a fountain in the middle. It's so beautiful. It's like, oh, I love it. Close this bag. Can you help me close this? The thing falls out. So beautiful. Wow! This is the main living room. It's called a salon. <sighs> yeah, like it just like I can definitely tell it's like from the colonial period. Mm -hmm. Wow! Sorry, <laughs> I'm very touristy right now. That's beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, this is amazing. Wow. Okay, so this is wow. Sure, yeah. This is where we have the storage No, no problem. Oh, did you sleep in this bed? No, no, no. no. This, this, when you were a baby, did you sleep in that? Oh, I don't know that was Wow. It's you. Wow. They actually have to take a picture out here. It's beautiful. Oh, guys! Look at this. Say hi, Paula. Wow. Yeah. This river connects to that one. Wow. And it comes all the way from the highlands. Guys, look at this. Eating yeah. coquitas, coquitos. which is coquitos, which are tiny, tiny coconuts, tiny coconuts which, come, which fall from these trees. Huh? And like, who are you guys cracking it? Crack it, girl. <laughs> and then you see the little coconuts? Coquita. <clears throat> when you get one of these out, like, complete, it's like the best luck. thing ever. Mmm. Oh, and this jumps a lot. It could hurt. Mm. When I was little, it was, it's a whole science to learn how to crack this Oh, wow. So you've mastered I it. Would I have smashed my hands like so this. many times. Smashilas. Dorvacas, cows. Maquitas. Maquitas. 